when the narcissist can't leave you alone. When they can't leave you to yourself and cease to participate in an activity with you. The reason for this is because of what they are getting out of it when they are with you. The benefits and rewards. It is benefiting them in some way. It is rewarding them. And while in many cases, they may be receiving money or something else that may benefit them, most of the time, there is something else that keeps them coming back. Something else that makes them want to be around you all of the time. And that is your energy. Narcissists are energy vampires. They feed off the energy of high energy people. But they then leave them feeling exhausted or drained of their energy. If this is how you feel every time that you are around the narcissist, this is a key indicator of what you might be dealing with. If you are watching this video, it is likely that you are naturally a high energy person. You are very active. You feel good most of the time. And this is something that is very attractive to narcissists because they want some of that. They want to be a part of it. So if you are a high energy person, narcissists will gravitate towards you. Because they are low energy people who need energy to survive. There are two different ways that the narcissist might try to extract energy from you. First they might try being nice. They might try to flirt with you. They might try to tease you to get your attention. Where your attention goes, your energy flows. So when you are giving them your attention, you are then giving them your energy. And they then get to experience the life that you naturally get to experience. But they don't get to experience it to the fullest as you do. When they extract your energy, they only get to experience a fraction of what you do. But to them, it is still an incredible experience. And that is why they gravitate towards you. That is why they will flirt with you or try to get your attention. But they have nothing of value to give to you. Their energy is dark and dense. It's of no use to you and it's of no use to them. And that is actually another reason why they come around you. They come around you to dispose of this negative energy, which is weighing them down. When they try to get your attention, or they interact or engage with you, it is a transaction of energy. By giving them your attention, you are then transferring your energy into them, and they are transferring their energy into you. Which is why they will often seem so energetic and full of life after being around you. While you will feel drained and lifeless. If 
being nice doesn't work. The narcissist will be mean to you. If they can tell that you have no interest in them, they will try to attack you or put you down. It still gets your attention. It still transfers your energy to them. And it also transfers your self-worth and self-esteem. When they put you down, when they make you feel as though you're not good enough, or as though you don't really matter, it transfers your feelings of self-worth and self-esteem into them. And then they start to feel good about themselves. They start to feel as though they are special or important. And you start to feel however they felt when they were putting you down. If they felt a hatred or anger when they were attacking you, you will begin to feel that way. When you interact with a narcissist, they transfer their emotions onto you. And an emotion is simply energy in motion. It's all energy. And that is why they can't leave you alone. That is why they love to be around you. Because you are a high energy person. And your energy is very powerful. It has the power to change their mood and make them feel good about themselves. It makes them feel as though they are special or important. And they want some of that. They see you going about your life and how happy you are. And they want to feel that way. They want to feel good about their lives. So they will try to get involved with you. They will try to get your attention or flirt with you. And if that doesn't work, they will attack you or put you down. Whatever it takes to get your energy, because that's all that really matters to them. Whether they appear to like or dislike you, they don't have a genuine interest in you. They don't even know you. All they're really focused on is extracting your energy. It has nothing to do with sexual attraction, just as it has nothing to do with an argument or disagreement. It's all about your energy. cannot develop a friendship or relationship with these types of people as they have nothing of significance or value to give to you. They don't come around you to give anything to you. They have nothing to give. They're only around you to extract your energy. just as bees gravitate to pollen because you have the value but you cannot develop anything of significance or value with these types of people because they have nothing to give to you so the relationship will just involve you giving and giving or receiving nothing in return until you end up feeling drained and lifeless because they've taken all of your energy. That's why high energy people need to be with other high energy people. People who are active and have a lot going on in their lives. 
that is the only way that there will be an equal exchange of energy. And then both partners will be satisfied. The narcissist can't leave you alone. They always have to be around you. Because they need your energy. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel alive. When they're not around you, they feel miserable and depressed. Because they have to focus on all of the problems in their lives. When they're with you, it's like an adventure. It's fun and exciting. Because they get to share your energy. But it's no different from them wearing your clothes, trying on your favorite jackets. It might make them feel good or look good, but it isn't theirs. It doesn't belong to them. And you could give them £50,000 to buy a luxury car. And while that might make them feel great, they would still need the money to maintain it. They would need money for fuel to keep the car running. And it's the same thing with your energy. When they come around you and steal your energy, it only lasts for a short period of time. And then they go back to feeling miserable. Because it's not their energy. It doesn't belong to them. And so they don't know how to maintain it. They lack the ability to keep themselves running at that high level. And that is why they always have to be around you. That is why they can't leave you alone. Because you have the energy that they need to keep them feeling good. To keep them operating at that high level. And without you, they feel miserable. They have to focus on their problems. So they have to keep you around. Not because they have anything of value to give to you. Not because they are interested in building something significant with you. But because they need your energy to survive. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon and receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissivivercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.